From his hair to his clothes and his diet, there is nothing conventional about John Daly. Nothing about John Daly fits the traditional image of a pro golfer, but appearances don't count when you have the talent to make it big. Our topic for today says it all. Daly is especially known today for his driving distance off the tee, but more than that, he has made headlines for his non-country club image and bad boy attitude on the course. His insane lifestyle and unique personality earned him fans even from outside the world of golf. Welcome to our channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about John Daly's insane legendary lifestyle. His eccentric gambling habits and dizzying personal life pose the biggest obstacles in his career. But before we talk about that, let's find out how John Daly became THE John Daly. Daly was born in Carmichael in California. His father was a construction worker and his mother was a homemaker. He moved around various small towns across the southern states throughout his childhood. The family moved to Arkansas when he was four, and the following year, Daly started playing golf. Jack Nicklaus was considered the best player back then and became Daly's favorite. At 13, he won the Spring Club Championship at the Lake of the Woods golf course in Locust Grove. He defeated all the male members of the club. A 13-year-old defeating everyone at the club? That didn't go down well with the members, and soon the club changed its rules barring juniors from future open club competitions. Daly attended Helias High School in Jefferson City, Missouri from grade 10 and was a junior member of the Jefferson City Country Club and, of course, was a member of the school's golf team. But golf wasn't the only sport that he was good at. He was a letterman in golf and football. The school team benefited from his skills in both sports. Helias football compiled a 10-0 record in 1983. While in golf, the team became a Missouri State Team HS champion the same year. It was also the year when Daly had his first notable golf success. He won the 1983 Missouri State Amateur Championship. A year after that, he won the Arkansas State Amateur Championship. In 1984, he became friends with Rick Ross, who was a golf coach. For the next several years, Ross was the one who assisted him with his game. Daly's game was so good that he got into the University of Arkansas on a golf scholarship. But his college stint was cut short as he qualified for the U.S. Open as an amateur in 1986. However, his drinking problems had also begun in college, leading to him having a hostile relationship with his college golf coaches. He left college and turned pro in 1987. The 1987 Missouri Open was his first pro victory. For the next couple of years, Daly chose to play mostly in minor events across the USA. He also competed in many PGA Tour events. His career took a sharp rise in the 90s when he won the PGA Tour in 1991. Daly was the ninth and final alternate for the championship since Nick Price had dropped out. The fact that he was practically an unknown when he lifted the prestigious trophy made his victory even more sensational. He was also the first rookie to win a major title since Jerry Pate won the US Open in 1976. He went on to win many other majors that decade, but his drinking habits and unhealthy lifestyle started catching up and it was evident from his game. His skills on the course were appreciated not just by golf aficionados, but non-golf fanatics as well. On preparing for a round of golf, Daly said, Ah well, I hit balls for maybe 20 minutes and putt a little bit, smoke four or five cigarettes and drink three Diet Cokes, and go to the first tee. Some days I wouldn't even go to the range. He was never one to spend hours on practice, but managed to smash the rounds with ease. Daly once narrated an incident when he was drinking at the club and he saw Tiger Woods head out to practice. Woods came back three hours later in his gym shorts when Daly asked him to join for a drink again and Tiger declined saying he had to work out. Daly said, you have been out there for nine hours and we have been drinking for nine hours. To which Woods replied, Daly, if I had your talent, I'd be doing what you were doing. The next day, the two were paired at a tournament and Daly kicked his ass, but he also added that it was the only time he managed to do so. How did Daly's drinking problem even begin? Daly was quite overweight back in college and he was told to shed some weight if he wanted to play. That's when he adopted an unusual diet to shed 67 pounds in two and a half months. His diet included only two things, Jack Daniels and popcorn. The diet did help him lose weight, but it didn't curb his appetite. That's when his college golf coach Steve Loy suggested, smoke a cigarette, it'll curb your appetite. Smoking a couple of cigarettes a day soon turned into smoking a couple of packs a day. The whiskey helped him shed weight but turned him into a raging alcoholic. Other than his alcohol and nicotine dependencies, his diet was also the most controversial one you might have ever seen. He would take three to four trips to McDonald's every day. 
I used to be able to eat two Big Macs, two or three cheeseburgers, chocolate shake, regular Coke back then in a sitting pretty easily. Taco Bell and Burger King were his other favorites. He ate four to five packs of peanut M&Ms and multiple packs of chocolate muffins and chocolate ice cream. His love for Diet Coke was evident whenever he played at any event. This pro golfer drank 12 to 20 Diet Cokes a day. But the worst part of it all was that he absolutely didn't drink any water. In his own words, I don't drink water. I hate water. I cannot stand to drink water. These were not his only vices. Daly loved the rush that came with gambling. He wasn't interested in winning the prize. He was just in love with the rush that came with the uncertainty of the outcome. He became famous for his gambling habits in the 2000s. He lost a staggering amount of wealth over the years due to gambling. Curious about the exact figure? You won't believe it. It was over a whopping $50 million in losses. He turned into a gambler once he started earning massive paychecks from golf. We figured I lost about $98 million and won about $45 million gambling, Daly said. So yeah, I lost around $50 million. One of the worst gambling sessions he ever had was in 2005, after he lost to Tiger Woods in the American Express Championship. He still earned $750,000, but all that was going to be gone from his possession soon. Stay with us to know what happened. Instead of going back home from San Francisco, he headed straight to Las Vegas and sat at a slot machine which cost $5,000 per play. Within half an hour, he had burned through $600,000, after which he took a new line of credit for the same amount and lost that as well. In the few hours that he was there, Daly lost $1.65 million. He wrote about the incident in his autobiography. And here's how my sick mind analyzed the situation. My sponsorship payments would be coming through in January, so I'd be able to pay everything off and get back to even by the beginning of the new year. Everything's fine. Everything's okay. No problem. Hell yes, there's a problem. He was known for spending his free time playing $5,000 per pull slots and $15,000 blackjack hands. Though he managed to get his gambling under control, the losses did put a sizable dent in his bank balance, and nobody wants to deal with that. Despite all the losses, he wasn't one to hold on to his earnings. He had won a large sum of money at a Memphis casino, but he chose to chuck the entire wad off a bridge because his wife was annoying him. I won like $55,000 in the casino, and I said to Sherry, if you're going to yell and scream at me about this, I threw it over the bridge going over to Memphis from Arkansas. I threw all the money out the window. He narrated the incident to ESPN Radio's Dan Libertard show in 2016. Daly didn't care about the money, but his wife did. She went back to the bridge and took whatever bills were left behind. His gambling habits didn't find a screeching halt, but he did try to offset the lost wealth. He is in partnership with Loudmouth Golf Line of Clothing, which also includes licensing deals with NFL's Dallas Cowboys and Arkansas Razorbacks. He also signed an endorsement deal with a discount golf retailer called Rock Bottom Golf. He tried selling his own label of wine called John Daly Wines, but it has been discontinued now. Daly owns a company called JD Designs, which designs golf courses. With the amount of time he has spent on golf courses, it is his natural calling and he aces at it. Speaking of natural calling, this pro golfer also launched his music career in 2002. Did you know he gave the backup vocals in Kid Rock's song, Half Your Age? A major shocker came in 2020, when Daly announced that he has bladder cancer. His health had suffered a great deal due to his unhealthy diet. Daly was already suffering from painful kidney stones, but after consulting with doctors, it was found that the kidney stones had passed and that he now faced a more serious condition. While speaking to Golf Channel about his diagnosis, he said, After I did the CT scan, I was fixing to sip on my Diet Coke and he said, Don't drink anything. We have to get you back in here and get this cancer out of you. He underwent a successful procedure to remove cancer, but there is a high chance of it coming back. He will have to go for regular checkups. In case of a recurrence, he will have to undergo another surgery. The diagnosis has forced him to change his habits, and Daly now says he has cut back on his diet coke consumption. He is also trying to quit smoking and has lowered the number of cigarettes he smokes in a day. Despite all this, he has managed to remain upbeat about it. Now that's some commitment towards life and the game. Daly said, The doctors aren't saying it's too late. Unfortunately, it's cancer that keeps coming back, but I'm going to listen to them and I'm going to try and quit smoking. If it comes back, it comes back. Six months to a year, if it doesn't go away, I'm going to live my life. I'm going to have some fun. Are you a John Daly fan? Tell us in the comments section below. Like and share this video if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for a weekly dose of golf.